Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to get unlimited candies even with a noob account. So as you can see, I have a level 83 account here with 15,000 candies. So we're gonna buy the Santa hat as well as the sleigh. Go. So guys, you don't need a uh, game pass to use the sleigh, okay? You just need, I think, 1,000 candies. So we're gonna use that and now I'm gonna show you how I was able to gather lots and lots of candies so I think there are three ways to do it so guys are you ready by the way check this out the sleigh so we're gonna use this to travel to the starting island so either we call this a pirate or the marine island the starting okay so I told you three ways to get lots and lots, lots of candies so for the first one guys, kill the bandits. Why bandits gamer no? Because you don't, uh, even though you kill it lots of times, you will still get candies. As long as your level is below 100, okay? Again, below 100. Tip 1.5, <laughs> just a continuation of this tip. You can just leave your character here. See that? With an auto clicker for those uh, Android phone users and Windows. Yeah, it does auto clicker can leave it is there a downside game room yes even though you defeat bandits it is not a hundred percent guarantee that you will get candies check that out right okay so for our tip number two defeating bosses in defeating bosses you will get candies hundred percent so my technique here is you just do server hop yes and you will get candies hundred percent ten to twelve I think it's twelve there you go so for the last tip guys, I think this is the best as long as you can defeat this mob. So shout out to this dude who commented in one of my videos. I'll give him a shout out. So shout out to Ananias Kilalyang. Okay, so he suggested that the fastest way is to defeat the mob leader. Guaranteed 10 to 12 candies every time you defeat it. And guys, it will spawn every one minute. So let's check it out if it's true. So let's defeat this first. Guys, make sure that you can defeat it, okay? But if, if it will take you like uh, 10 minutes to defeat it, then just focus on the bandits first. And when you get stronger, defeat this mob. Okay, so we're gonna defeat the mob leader and we're gonna time it. So there you go. So timer starts now. Goal is 1 minute. This is in uh, times 2 speed. Again, we are checking if the spawn time of this mob is just one minute. And if it is true, then the best way to grind is here. So while we're waiting, guys, as you can see, we're using the ice fruit. So most likely, this is a hint on my next video. So watch out for that. Maybe we're gonna awaken this devil fruit on our next video. So as you can see, approaching 56 seconds. Okay, there you go, guys. One minute. Yes, it's correct. So again, three ways. First up, the bandits. Next up, the mini bosses. And again, last but not the least, the mob leader. So guys, it really depends to you. For me, the best way is either the bandits or the mob leader. So that's it for this video, guys. Why do you need to grind candies for shards? Because again, I think on the next update, the candies will disappear and you will be having a hard time getting shards. So guys, get that dream fruit of yours, grind candies, exchange it for shards, okay? Or, or maybe you can grind lots of shards. Maybe in the future, your dream fruit will be awakened. Like for example, the control chair, okay? So that's it for this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.